from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. The tropics are starting to heat up. Greg D explains what that means for the Bay Area coming up in your full forecast. But first, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. In Pasco County, authorities are questioning a man about a hit and run that killed a 77 year old veteran. Investigators tell us a driver hit Larry Small yesterday on Moog Road in Holiday. He was on his motorized scooter riding home from the store at the time. A neighbor says his surveillance video captured the crash, so he gave that to investigators. We rolled him up over the hood into the windshield and Larry came down and hit head first on the on the pavement. The Florida Highway Patrol says no charges have been filed at this point. Wildlife officers are trying to find the person or people who are apparently shooting birds with a paintball gun in the South Pasadena area. One egret ended up with the paint, blue paint all over its body. The FWC is asking people to call in tips to try to find the person or people who are responsible for the attacks. We want to remind you that starting today, you have to pay to park on downtown Sarasota streets. Rates start at $1.50 an hour with both pay stations and individual parking meters all across the city. Officials hope paying to park will open up more spaces for shoppers. Sarasota previously added paid parking at St. Armand Circle back in February. A Pasco County group is hoping to collect a thousand backpacks before school starts. The Volunteer Way is trying to help homeless and low income children. You can help out by dropping off backpacks and school supplies at the nonprofit's location on Congress Street in Port Ritchie. Um, they think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> they don't have anything. These kids come in, they have no shoes on. Sometimes we try to bring shoes up there with us too for the kids that are coming in so we can give them shoes and socks. So they're starting school with a whole new wardrobe. The backpacks and school supplies will be given out next month at the Volunteer Ways Moon Lake Chapel location. I'm going to check in now with Greg D for an update on the showers that we've been seeing. Yeah, plenty of them, D, as we go into the afternoon. Low pressure will be developing to our west in the Gulf, not today, tomorrow and Thursday. Now, an onshore flow, lots of clouds in the energy from that system. It's just going to bring us uh, extra coverage in terms of our normal daily July afternoon showers and storms. Coverage at 40 to 60 percent at times. Then by the evening, things should be quieting down. Plenty of dry times in between some of these downpours. None of them severe, and at least the clouds are going to keep the temperatures a little bit cooler in the mid 80s with higher humidity. An update on that tropical system available right now on the weather page of ABCActionNews.com. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. Get your cow costumes ready. Chick-fil-A is celebrating its 15th annual Cow Appreciation Day today. Anybody who visits a Chick-fil-A restaurant dressed as a cow will get a free entree. The celebration lasts until 7 o'clock tonight. <laughs> you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts.